Hello everyone, Dennis here. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you GCE All Level Additional Mathematics October November 2021 paper, paper 1. The subject code is 4049. This video is brought to you by Ace with Tennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out free lessons from me. Let's start the discussion. Question 1. A rectangle has length 3 plus 2 third 3 cm and an area of 6 plus 5 third 3 cm square. Find, without using a calculator, the width of the rectangle in cm in the form a plus b third 3 where a and b are integers. 3 marks. Here's a solution. We know that the area of rectangle is the length times with the width. Hence, width will be equals to area of rectangle over length. Then we substitute the value 6 plus 5 sub 3 over 3 plus 2 sub 3. Then we rationalize this fraction by multiplying 3 minus 2 sub 3 over 3 minus 2 sub 3. Then we expand and simplify we get 18 minus 12 sub 3 plus 15 sub 3 minus 10 times 3 over 9 minus 4 times 3. Simplify further, it is negative 12 plus 3 sub 3 over negative 3. And we divide negative 3 for the numerator and denominator. We get 4 minus sub 3 cm. And this is the answer. Question 2. The curve xy plus 10 equals 0 and the line x plus 2y plus 1 equals 0 intersect at the points p and q. Find the x coordinate of p and of q. 3 marks. And here's a solution. So this is intersect uh, question, right? The curve intersect with the line. Then we have to solve simultaneous equation to find the coordinates of p and q. And since it is a curve intersect with a line, then we can only use substitution method. Okay, so firstly, given uh, the equation of the straight line, x plus 2y plus 1 equals 0, then we make x a subject, so x equals to negative 2y minus 1. Then I label this equation as equation 1. Next, the second equation given is uh, xy plus 10 equals to 0. I label this equation as equation number 2. So I substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Then I will get negative 2y minus 1 times y plus 10 equals to 0. We expand the bracket. We get negative 2y squared minus y plus 10 equal to 0. Then we make the coefficient of y squared to be positive. We will get 2y squared plus y minus 10 equals to 0. Next. We factorize this quadratic equation, so we get y minus 2 times 2y plus 5 equal to 0. So y minus 2 equal to 0, or 2y plus 5 equal to 0. So y equals to 2, and y equals to negative 5 over 2. Next, when y equals to 2, we can find the x value. So the x will be negative 2 times 2 minus 1, which is negative 5. On the other hand, when y equals to negative 5 over 2, then the corresponding x value will be negative 2 times negative 5 over 2 minus 1, and the value is 4. Hence, the x coordinates of p and of q are negative 5 and 4. Question 3. Express 3 minus 12x minus 2x squared in the form a bracket x plus b square plus c and hence state the coordinates of the turning point of the curve y equals 3 minus 12x minus 2x squared. 4 marks. Here is a solution. So basically this question is to ask us to change the expression 3 minus 12x minus 2x squared into the completing the square form. So given 3 minus 12x minus 2x squared the first thing we want to do is we want to make the coefficients of the x square to be 1. So we can factorize negative 2. So we get negative 2 
times x squared plus 12 plus 6x then plus 3 then we convert into the completing the square form we get negative 2 bracket x plus 3 square minus 3 square close bracket then plus 3 we simplify we get negative 2 bracket x plus 3 square minus 9 plus 3 expand the bracket we get negative 2 times x plus 3 square plus 18 plus 3 and we get negative 2 bracket x plus 3 square plus 21 right so this is in the completing the square form now to find the turning point of y equals 3 minus 12x minus 2x square or y equals to negative 2 times x plus 3 square plus 21 so from this equation we can know the coordinates of the turning point which is negative 3 21 all right so how we get negative 3 here because of this value x plus 3 so remember to switch the sign if this plus then this must be minus so then the y coordinate is just this value so for this case is 21 all right so this is the answer question 4 Integrate 3 over x squared plus 4 over 3x minus 5 with respect to x for max. And here's a solution. So this is how we write the integration. Integration of 3 over x squared plus 4 over 3x minus 5 dx. The very first thing we have to do is, for the first fraction, we change it into the indices form first. So 3 over x squared becomes 3x to the power of negative 2. For the second fraction, we have, don't have to change into uh, indices form because if we change the indices form the power is negative 1 and when we want to integrate it then the power negative 1 will have to plus 1 they become power 0 so it does it becomes doesn't make sense All right so we just remain the same for over 3x minus 5 now I can start to integrate so 3x power negative 2 right negative 2 plus 1 I get negative 1 so copy the power at the bottom here negative 1 so for the second fraction, we integrate, this is a ln function. It becomes 4 ln 3x minus 5. Then I differentiate uh, the bracket. So when I differentiate, I will get 3. It becomes over 3 at the bottom here. Then plus a c. Okay, next thing, we simplify everything. We get negative 3 over x plus 4 over 3 ln 3x minus 5 plus c. And this is the answer. Question 5. Express 13x minus 6 over x squared times 2x minus 3 in partial fractions. 6 marks. Here's the solution. The given expression 13x minus 6 over x squared times 2x minus 3 can be written as a over x plus b over x squared because this x squared is a repeated linear factor. And then plus with two, a c over 2x minus 3. So this is the third linear factor for the denominator right the next thing we have to do is we try to combine these three fractions together with the common denominator of x square times 2x minus 3 so the a has to multiply with x times 2x minus 3 for the b it has to times with 2x minus 3 for the c it has to times with the x square right so after that we can compare the numerator since the left hand side and the right hand side both have the same denominator right so when you compare this is the equation that we can write so 13 x minus 6 equals to a x times 2 x minus 3 plus b times 2 x minus 3 plus c x squared so now we can find the value of a b and c by using substitution method right those the first value that i want to substitute is i will let x equal to 0 because when x equals 0 right so the a will be eliminated and the c will also be eliminated that i can find the b value so when i substitute i get 13 times 0 minus 6 equals a times 0 times 2 times 0 minus 3 plus b times 2 times 0 minus 3 plus c times 0 square right and i will get negative 6 equals to negative 3b hence b equals to 2. now the next value I want to substitute will be let x equals to 3 over 2. So what is the reason? Because if we substitute 3 over 2, so I can eliminate the a, 
I can eliminate B as well and then I can get the C value right so let's see what will happen if I substitute x equals to 3 over 2 then the equation becomes 13 times 3 over 2 minus 6 equals A times 3 over 2 times 2 times 3 over 2 minus 3 plus B times 2 times 3 over 2 minus 3 plus C times 3 over 2 squared alright so from here this will become 0 this will become 0 as well so now the equation will become 27 over 2 equals 9 over 4 C the C will be equals to 6 right now I already know the B and the C value I can substitute any value of X let's say at X go to 1 to make my calculation easy right then my equation becomes 13 times 1 minus 6 equals a times 1 times 2 times 1 minus 3 plus 2 times 2 times 1 minus 3 plus 6 times 1 square all right then I substitute the values of my B and C the e equation becomes 7 equals to negative a minus 2 plus C uh, plus 6 so solve this equation my a is negative 3 so we can rewrite the partial fraction here 13x minus 6 over x squared times 2x minus 3 will be equals to negative 3 over x plus 2 over x squared plus 6 over 2x minus 3 and this is the answer question 6 a polynomial p is 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x plus k where k is a constant a find the value of k given that p leaves a remainder of 6 when divided by x minus 2 2 marks so here's the solution so here over uh, the keyword is remainder the very first thing i want to do is i let i make this expression to be a function first so i let px equals 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x plus k so as my as i mentioned just now the keyword is remainder of 6 when divided by x minus 2 we can apply remainder theorem which means that p2 equals to 6 right these two comes from here x minus 2 right we take the value 2 here change the sign to here and it is equal to 6 so now it means that i substitute x equals to 2 into the expression given i will get 2 times 2 cubed minus 2 square minus 13 times 2 plus k equals to 6 right then from here i can solve this equation and get the value of k which is 20 and this is the answer b in a case where k equals to negative 6 the quadratic expression 2x squared plus ax minus 3 is a factor of p find the value of the constant a for max all right so given when k equals to negative 6 then our function px will become 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6. so since 2x squared plus ax minus 3 is a factor then px becomes 2x squared plus ax minus 3 times px plus c so what's the reason because our px is a cubic polynomial so cubic polynomial given that this is the quadratic factor it has to multiply with a linear factor px plus c to become a cubic polynomial right now the next thing we just substitute right the px is 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6 and for the right side we multiply this px with the whole bracket then plus the c also multiply with the whole bracket here we become bx times 2x squared plus ax minus 3 plus c 2x squared plus ax minus 3 then we multiply this x here into the bracket everything uh, is the same right so 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6 equals to b times 2x cubed plus ax squared minus 3x plus c times 2x squared plus b ax minus 3 so now i can find all the constants a b and c so first i compare the coefficient of x squared so now let me side this is the x cube this is x cube and there is no x cube here in other words so 2b equals to 2 right so 2 times b is 2b equals to 2 here hence b equals to 1 next i compare with the constant term 
which is this one negative 6 right and this one there is no constant term over here we have negative 3c so which means that negative 3c equals to negative 6 right so c equals to 2 next i can compare the coefficient of the x so over here we have negative 13 and uh, this one we have negative 3b this one we have acx right so now negative 13 equals to uh, negative 3 times 1 right okay that's why I got negative 3 here and this is AC so the C value is 2 then A just becomes uh, 2A here right so from here we can solve this equation 2A equals to negative 10 then A is negative 5 and this is the answer question 7 given this diagram the diagram shows the curve y equals a sine px plus c for the range of x 0 to pi over 2 inclusive radians. The curve has a maximum point at pi over 8, 2 and minimum point 3 pi over 8, negative 8. A. Explain why c equals to negative 3. 2 marks. Okay, here's the solution. So we draw uh, this uh, neutral line here and this will be the C so the C value will be the maximum value plus minimum value divided by 2 so the maximum value is 2 which is this one okay so this is the maximum and this is the minimum so C is in between maximum and minimum okay so we have 2 for the maximum minimum is negative 8 so this value is negative 8. So 2 plus negative 8 divided by 2. And the value for C is negative 3. Okay, then B. Explain why B equals to 4. 2 marks. So now look at the B here. Sign BX. So B will determine the period. Right? So in solution, the period T is 2 pi over B. And the B will be 2 pi over T. So based on this diagram, the period is pi over 2 because this is one complete cycle and it takes pi over 2 to have this complete cycle. So we substitute the t to be pi over 2. So b also can be written as 2 pi times 2 over pi. Cancel the pi. The value of b will be 4. C. Hence, find the equation of the curve. 2 marks. So... Firstly, look, the equation is in the form of y equals to a sine bx plus c. So we already know the value of b, we already know the value of c. So we need to know the value of a, which is the amplitude of the curve or the waveform here. So this is the a, and the value of a will be 2 plus 3, because from this point to this point, the distance is 2 units from the x-axis to this dotted line. This is the value of C, right, which is 3 units. So total is 5 units. Okay, then you can write the equation of the curve as y equals to 5 sine 4x minus 3. Question 8. Given this diagram, the diagram shows a rectangular field measuring 50 meters by 80 meters. Point P and Q lie on AD and CD respectively. Paths BP, BQ, and QB cross the field. The triangular plot BPQ is to be planted with maize. So this is the triangle BPQ. It is given that AP equals x meters and DQ equals 2x meters as labeled in the diagram. A show that the area a meter square to be planted with maize is given by a equals to x square minus 40x plus 2000 3 marks in other words we have to find the area of the triangle bpq so here's the solution now let's see the length of pd will be 50 minus x right because the length bc 
same as the length of AD because this is a rectangle, rectangular field. Alright, so that means PD, uh, if AP is X, then PD will be 50 minus X. So similarly, CQ, right? So this is AB, 80 meters. This is QD, 2X meters. Hence, CQ will be 80 minus 2X. Okay, so now I can find the area of the triangle ABQ. So it is equal to the area of the rectangle ABCD and then minus the area of the triangle ABP, which is this triangle, and then minus the area of triangle PQD, which is this triangle, and then minus the area of triangle BCQ, which is this triangle. Right? So triangle uh, no, rectangle ABCD, the area is 80 times 50. Then minus the area of triangle ABP will be half times X times 80. The area of triangle PQD will be half times 50 minus X times 2X. And the area of triangle BCQ will be half times 80 minus 2X times 50. Right, then we uh, simplify this uh, equation. 80 times 50 is 4000. Then minus 40x minus 50x minus x square minus 2000 minus 50x. Right? Then we expand the brackets. So we get 4000 minus 40x minus 50x plus x square minus 2000 plus 50x. So we simplify. We will get x square minus 40x plus 2000. Right? So this is the area that we have to show. Hence shown. B. Given that X can vary, find the stationary value of A and determine its nature. For marks. Okay, so this is a very classical question. Alright, so we want to find stationary value of A. We have to differentiate A in terms of uh, X, then A to be 0 to find the value of X, right, and then calculate the value of A with the value of X that we find. Right, then after that, we to determine the nature, we have to differentiate second time and let the value of x to be the x that we have obtained and see if it is positive or negative. If positive, then it will be minimum. If negative, then it become a maximum. Right? So here's how it, uh, the solution is a equals to x squared minus 40x plus 2000. Right? So we differentiate the a over the x equals 2x minus 40. Then stationary point, we let the a over the x equal to 0. So 2x minus 40 equal to 0, then x will be 20. All right? Then the stationary value of a will be substitute x equal to 20 into the equation of the area. It becomes 20 square minus 40 times 20 plus 2000, and the value is 1600 meters square. Now, to determine nature, actually you look at the equation of the area. It x square minus 40x plus 2000, right? So this is actually a smiley face right when you want to plot the graph this is the quadratic uh, equation quadratic graph and the, the coefficient of x squared is positive it will be a smiley face then we should know that it is a minimum point right so let's see if this is true we set, derive second time for the area d square a over dx square so we get two here and actually obviously this is a positive value Right, so the second derivative is positive when stationary. That means a equals to 1600 is a minimum value. Question 9 Given this diagram, the diagram shows a kite ABCD in which AB equals to AD and BC equals to CD. So AB equals to AD, BC equals to CD. Okay, so point A and D lie on X axis and B lie on Y axis. So already labeled coordinate of D is H0 because it lies on the X axis. We can also label point A as uh, A0, the coordinates, right? K, and then for the B also has labeled uh, the coordinates as 0K. So point C is 6, 6 and D is H0 and B is 0k, where H and K are positive constants 
and K is not equal to H. A. Show that H plus K equals to 12. 3 marks. And here's the solution. So we use the inform information given BC equals to CD because as we have seen in the, the diagram, right? The coordinates of B is 0K. Coordinates of C is 6, 6. Coordinates of D is H0, right? These three points, we have the uh, letter K and H here. Okay, we want to prove H plus K. So now apply the Pythagoras theorem. So uh, the equation, uh, the formula of the length BC, square of 0 minus 6 square plus K minus 6 square equals to square of H minus 6 square plus 0 minus 6 square. All right, so we square both sides to remove the square root. I'll get K minus 6 square plus 36 equals to H minus 6 square plus 36. Then from here, we can cancel the 36. Then expand the bracket. We have K square minus 12K plus 36 equals to H square minus 12H plus 36. And again, we can cancel the 36. We have K square minus 12K equals to H square minus 12H. All right, so now K, K square minus H square equals to 12K minus 12H. We can factorize K square minus H square as K plus H times K minus H. On the right side, we can factorize the 12. It becomes 12 times K minus H. Then we can cancel the K minus H. Hence, K plus H equals to 12. Shown. It is given that H equals to 4. B. Find the coordinates of A. 4 marks. So, from part A, we know that H plus K equals to 12. Since H equals to 4, then K equals to 8. Now, to find the coordinates of A, as we have labeled previously, it, is it lies on the x-axis, hence the coordinates of A will be A, 0. There's a num value here. Right? So we use the information given AB equals to AD, right? Okay, because we want to find the coordinates of A. Then apply the formula of uh, distance of two points. So square root of A minus 0 square plus 0 minus K square equals to square root of A minus H square plus 0 minus 0 square. Right? So simplify, we get A square plus K square equals to A minus H square. Expand. Uh, We'll substitute the value h to be 4, the k to be 8, we have a square plus a square equals to a minus 4 square. Right? Then we expand the bracket and also the square here, a square plus 64 equals to a square minus 8 square, 8a plus 16. Right? We can cancel the a square. So it means 8 square equals to negative 48. Hence, a equals to negative 6. So the coordinates of A will be negative 6, 0. C. Find the area of the kite. 2 marks. So here's the solution. To find the area of the kite, we can use the shoelace method. So let's list down all the uh, coordinates of the important points first. So A coordinate is negative 6, 0. D is 4, 0. C is 6, 6 and B is 0, 8, right? Notice that how I write down the points here, I follow anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so from A, then the next point is D, followed by point C and point B. Then we can use the shoelace method to find the area of the kite, which is half times. So this is how we write the inside this modulus uh, sign here, right? So the coordinates of point A, negative 6, 0, followed by the next point, 4, 0, next point, 6, 6, next point, 0, 8, then repeat the first point, negative 6, 0. All right, so then we multiply, negative 6 times 0, we get 0, 4 times 6, we get 24, so plus 24, 6 times 8, we get 48, so plus 48, 0 times 0, we get 0. Then minus 0 times 4, we get 0, 0 times 6, we get 0, then 6 times 0, we get 0. 8 times negative 6, we get negative 48. 
right? So now simplify, calculate uh, inside the modulus, we get half times modulus 72 plus 48, which the answer is 60 units squared. Question 10. A. Prove the identity sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta minus 1 over sine theta equals cotangent theta. Four marks. Here's the solution. So we start from the left hand side, which is sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta minus 1 over sine theta. Then we combine these two fractions together to have the common denominator of 1 minus cosine theta times sine theta. And the numerator becomes sine squared theta minus bracket 1 minus cosine theta. So we expand the bracket, we have sine squared theta minus 1 plus cosine theta over 1 minus cosine theta sine theta. Alright, so look at sine squared theta minus 1. Based on the basic identity formula, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals to 1. So sine squared theta minus 1 will be equals to negative cosine squared theta. So we change this to be negative cosine squared theta plus cosine theta. Right? Then from here, we factorize cosine theta. So the, it becomes cosine theta times negative cosine theta plus 1 over 1 minus cosine theta times sine theta. Then from here, we can cancel out negative cosine theta plus 1 with 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, Because they are the same value. So it becomes cosine theta over sine theta, which is cotangent theta. Hence, proven. B. Hence, solve the equation sine 2 theta over 1 minus cosine 2 theta minus 1 over sine 2 theta equals to negative 2. For the range of theta from 0 degrees to 180 degrees inclusive for max. So here's the solution. Given the equation, sine 2 theta over 1 minus cosine 2 theta minus 1 over sine 2 theta equals to negative 2. So this whole thing can be changed to cotangent 2 theta. Right, so the equation becomes cotangent 2 theta equals to negative 2. Okay, so cotangent theta equals to 1 over tangent theta. Hence, uh, we can rewrite this equation becomes tangent 2 theta equals to negative 1 over 2. So, firstly, we find the best angle, which is inverse tangent of half. The value is 26.6 degrees. Right, so the range given is from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, but our angle is 2 theta, so the range of 2 theta will be from 0 degrees to 360 degrees inclusive. So tangent 2 theta is a negative value, hence the angle is in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So 2 theta will be 180 degrees minus 26.6 degrees, or 360 degrees minus 26.6 degrees. Alright, so simplify, 2 theta equals to 153.4 degrees or 333.4 degrees. Hence, theta will be 76.7 degrees or 166.7 degrees. Uh, nearest one decimal place. Question 11. Given this diagram. In the diagram, A, B and C lie on a circle. The tangents to the circle at A and C meet at T and BA is parallel to CT. A. Prove that triangle ABC is isosceles. Four marks. Alright, so this is the triangle ABC that we want to prove as an isosceles triangle. So here's a solution. Angle ACT equals to angle ABC. So this angle ACT equals to the angle ABC. What's the reason? Because of alternate segment theorem. Also, angle ACT equals to angle BAC. So angle ACT equals to angle BAC. What's the reason? Because of alternate angles where BA is parallel with CT. Hence, angle ABC equals to angle BAC. Right? So this angle will be equals to this angle. Hence, triangle ABC is isosceles triangle proven. B. Prove that angle BCA equals to angle CTA. 3 marks. 
let's see which triangle which angles we want to prove right so here's a solution so this is angle bca and this is the angle cta right so firstly ct equals to at okay so these two sides are equal because two tangents meet at a point okay so as given ct and at both are tangents and meet at point t hence triangle act is isosceles triangle okay which means that angle cat equals angle act so this is angle cat equals angle act which means that angle cat can be equals to angle abc also equals to angle bac by aa similarity tests triangle act is similar to triangle abc hence angle bca will be equals to angle cta proven question 12 a show that the solution of the equation 6 to the power of x equals 5 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 is x equals log 15 over log 2 for marks. So here's the solution. Given the equation 6 to the power of x equals to 5 times 3 to the power of x plus 1. So we just need to solve this equation and our final answer should be same as x equals log 15 over log 2. So the 6 is 2 times 3, then to the power x equals to 5 times, so the 3 to the power x plus 1 can be written as 3 to the power x times 3. Then we remove the bracket, it becomes 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x equals to 5 times 3 to the power x times 3. So we can cancel the 3 to the power x, which we get 2 to the power x equals to 15. Then we lock both sides. Log 2 to the power x equals to log 15. Since it is log, we can bring down the power. So the equation becomes x log 2 equals log 15. Hence, x equals log 15 over log 2. Shown. B. Express the equation log 3x plus log 9 x plus 2 equals 2 as a cubic equation in x. For marks. Here's a solution. Given log 3x plus log 9 x plus 2 equals 2. So these two logs have different base. So we need to change them to have the same base. Right? So the log 3x will remain because we want to choose the lower base okay then the log 9 becomes log 3 x plus 2 over log 3 9 equals to 2 all right so log 3 9 is 2 hence the equation becomes log 3 x plus log 3 x plus 2 over 2 plus uh, equals to 2 okay so left hand side right side both multiply with 2 the equation becomes 2 log 3 x plus log 3 x plus 2 equals 4 Okay, so the constant in front of the log 3x can raise up become power. We have log 3x squared plus log 3x plus 2 equals to 4. Alright, so if two logs with the same base plus together, we can make it to become multiply. So we get log 3x squared times x plus 2 equals to 4. Now we can remove the log by changing this equation to be in indices form then we get x squared times x plus 2 equals to 3 to the power of 4 expand the bracket we get x cubed plus 2x squared equals to 81 and we have to make it to be a cubic equation so the equation becomes x cubed plus 2x squared minus 81 equals to 0 and this is the answer question 13 a a spherical balloon is being inflated with helium gas at a constant rate of 500 cm cube per second. The balloon is initially empty. 1. 
find the radius of the balloon after one minute. The volume of a sphere of radius r is 4 over 3 pi r cube. 2 marks. 2. Find the rate at which the radius of the balloon is increasing after one minute. 3 marks. Here is the solution. So this is a rate of change question. So number 1. Given the volume of the balloon is v equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube. So the volume after one minute will be 500 times 60, right? What's the reason? Because it is inflated with the constant rate of 500 cm cube per second, right? So one second 500 cm cube, one minute, which is 60 seconds, will be 500 times 60. Okay, so this is the volume after one minute, and it is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. Then we solve this equation. R cube will be 500 times 60 times 3 divided by 4 pi. So the R will be 19.2749 or 19.3 centimeters rounded up to 3 significant figures. 2. Again, given the volume of the balloon is 4 over 3 pi R cube, so I differentiate the volume in terms of R dv over dr equals 4 pi r squared. Alright, so I want to find uh, the rate of the radius, hence I have to find dr over dt. So we apply the chain rule here, right, dr over dt equals to dr, we start with dr and with dt here. So the dv and dv, these two must be the same. Okay, so you become the chain here is dr over dt equals to dr over dv times dv over dt. Okay, so from here, okay, our dr over dt will be 1 over 4 pi r squared because dv over dr is 4 pi r squared, so dr over dv will be 1 over 4 pi r squared. So the dv over dt will be 500 because this is a constant rate, 500 cm cubed here. Okay, then after that, when t equals to 60 seconds, the r will be 19.2749 cm. All right, we don't use the rounded up value. We will use uh, this value so that our calculation will be more accurate. Then the dr over dt will be 1 over 4 pi times 19.2749 square times 500. Then we calculate the value. We get 0 0.107 centimeters per second, rounded up to 3 sf. B. When a weather balloon is subject to different pressures, the pressure P, atmospheres, and the volume V liters of the air in the balloon are related by the formula PV equals K, where K is a constant. Given that when P equals 1.2, V equals to 2, find the rate at which V is changing with respect to P when V equals to 2. 4 marks. Here's a solution. Given the formula PV equals to K, when P is 1.2 and V equals to 2, then K will be 1.2 times 2, which is 2.4. Therefore, we can rewrite the equation, which we get V equals to 2.4 times P to the power of negative 1. Then we differentiate the V in terms of P, we get dv over dp equals to negative 2.4 p to the power of negative 2. Or, we can rewrite the equation becomes negative 2.4 over p squared. So when v equals to 2 and p equals to 1.2, then the dv over dp equals to negative 2.4 over 1.2 squared, which is negative 5 over 3 liters per atmosphere. Question 14. Given this diagram, the diagram shows part of the curve y equals to bracket 4 plus 3x to the power of half. The point P44 lies on the curve and the normal to the curve at P meets the x axis at Q. A. Find the coordinates of Q. 5 marks. Here's the solution. Okay, so let's see what information is given, right? So this is the curve, and this line PQ is the normal to the curve. So what we have to do is we have to find the diff the gradient at point P, 
right? So this will be the gradient of the tangent at point P. Then we can find the gradient of the normal, okay? And this gradient we can use to form the equation of the line PQ, right? And we can use the coordinates of P to find the coordinate, the equation of PQ. After that, Q lies on the X axis, which means that we have to find the X coordinate of point Q. The Y coordinate is zero. All right. So let's see the solution. Given Y equals to four plus three X to the power of half, we differentiate it, divide out dx, we get half times four plus three X to the power of negative half times three. Simplify, we get three over two times four plus three X to the power of half. So the gradient of the tangent at point P44 will be, we substitute the x to be 4 into uh, dy dx, which is the gradient of the tangent, and it becomes 3 over 2 times 4 plus 3 times 4 to the power half. So the gradient of the tangent is 3 over 8. Hence, the gradient of the normal at point P44 will be mn equals to negative 1 over mt. So for this case, it's negative 8 over 3. Okay, now we can find the equation of the normal at point P44. So y minus y1 equals to mn times x minus x1. So the y1 is 4, x1 is 4, the mn is negative 8 over 3. Right, we expand and make y the subject. So the equation of the normal becomes y equals to negative 8 over 3x plus 44 over 3. Okay, now q lies on the x-axis which means that the coordinates of Q will be A0, right? So the Y will be zero, the A will be the X value, right? So from here, eight X equals to 44, and X will be five and a half. Hence, the coordinate of Q will be five and a half, zero. B, find the area of the shaded region bounded by the curve, the normal, and the coordinate axis, five marks. So here's the solution, right? So we know that coordinates of Q will be 5.50, okay? And we have to split the shaded region into two parts. And at this point, the X coordinate is four. So we label this region as A1 and this region as A2. So the, shaded re the area of the shaded region will be A1 plus A2 where to find the area of A1, it is the in integration from 0 to 4 in with the curve 4 plus 3x to the power of half dx, then plus the A2 is the area of a triangle, so it will be half times the base, which is 1.5, and the height is 4. So we integrate the 4 plus 3x to the power of half, right? We get 4 plus 3x to the power of 3 over 2, over 3 over 2 times 3, and bounded from 0 to 4. The area of triangle is 3. Okay, simplify, we get 2 times 4 plus 3x to the power 3 over 2 over 9 from 0 to 4 plus 3. So substitute 4 and 0 into the bracket, we get four, uh, 2 times 16 to the power 3 over 2 over 9 minus 2 times 8 over 9, then plus 3. Calculate everything we get the area of the shaded region is 139 over 9 units square. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion, or experience to share? Feel free to write it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. All the best for your exam.